Okay, if my hair looks crazy, I just had to run through my neighborhood and catch my dogs because we accidentally left the gate open. So let's just resume like nothing happened. Hey y'all, I recently took a, another quick road trip to New Orleans to go thrifting, to buy stuff to resell for my online businesses like eBay and Poshmark. I did go with my friend Victoria over at Super Geeked and she's also gonna be filming a thrift haul. I'm gonna link her video down below. Make sure to watch her video after this one. I cannot wait to show y'all what I got. So if a reseller thrift haul sounds interesting, just keep watching. So I've definitely been like a Lululemon magnet lately. I've just been finding it everywhere. I found two pieces. So I found these black shorts. Super, super cute. And then I also found some sweatpants and these were actually just hanging on like the end of a rack. They were just, they were half off. Everything with a tag that I'm going to show you was half off. These were just $2.50. Me and Victoria were waiting in line and yeah, I saw this. We were waiting in line and I saw this thing reflect back at me. And I don't know what size these are. I haven't listed them yet or looked at the size stop, but I think they're at least an extra large. So yeah, I'm so excited that I keep finding Lululemon because this is usually not what I find whenever I go thrifting here in my state of Mississippi. I found a couple St. John pieces and this is probably the best piece I found. Um, I'll show you the tag. St. John Evening, and as you can see, it was half off, so I only paid $3.50 for it, and look at these brooches that it has. Now, someone, and I forgot who it was, or else I would give you a shout out, someone on YouTube mentioned, or maybe it was Instagram, they mentioned, I have like a hair stuck to my lipstick, they mentioned to put dog show in your title of your St. John pieces, this is not flawless, I'll tell you. Like, there's some spots on it. And I was kind of hesitant about getting it. And Victoria was like, if you don't get it, I'm getting it. You better get it. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'll get it, I'll get it. So I don't have the best luck with St. John. Uh, but this piece was pretty fabulous. So I had to get it. This is my second time finding this. This is Lauren Ralph Lauren Rugby. And this is a cashmere wool just button front orange cardigan sweater. Really, really cute. And I'm gonna start this probably around 60-ish dollars. Ralph Lauren Rugby does sell for a pretty good amount. I have a blazer right now up for $70 with several watchers. So I'm hoping I'll get at least $50 for that one. But I was super excited to find this piece because Fall's coming up, and I'm definitely trying to buy more sweaters, things like that right now. So I think it's a great time to pick something like this up. This is my first time ever finding Johnny Was, and it's not like the best piece, but I was just seriously so excited I at least found it. Uh, so this is the For Love and Liberty line, and so it's a brown long sleeve shirt, and it has like these frayed edges. And it has a rose, and it does have a couple spots on it. Um, but I think I have this up for $50, and I've already been declining some lowball offers. So I'm pretty confident I can get $50 bucks for it. It is a pretty good size. So yeah, I'm just excited to finally scratch this one off my to find list. Okay, so you saw this piece in the thumbnail. So at the last thrift store me and Victoria were at, we were about to leave actually, and they rolled out this rack with men's like really distressed denim. I bought some, spoiler alert, we'll get to them in a second. But they had several amazing pieces, and this was one of them. So this is a members only, like vintage 80s jacket, and it's Looney Tunes. It has the Bugs Bunny on it. I'll show you the inside tag. Yeah, I was super, super excited to find this. This is a size large. And I don't really know how much to list this for. Um, there's not a lot of sold comps whenever you look on eBay. And some people have this stuff like priced at like $30. I would hope that I could get at least $50 or $60 for this. I have sold members only before. I like the uh, hood. 
It even says the members only here. Anyway, yeah, I've sold members only before, but definitely not like a Looney Tunes line. So super excited to find that. Y'all know I love to sell Miracle Suit, and I did find a bathing suit. It's just a one-piece black and gold slimming bathing suit, and I sell all my Miracle Suit bathing suits for 50 bucks. So that's what I'll be pricing this one at. Okay, y'all let me know in the comments down below if you have sold this before. I've never sold it. So I picked this up, so it was half off. So this was $3.50 and it's Marina Rinaldi. And I'll try to show you an up close picture of everything. And this is why I picked it up was this right here. So this was a resale store tag. And on the tag, it says this dress retailed for $510. And the retail store or the resale store was trying to get $100 for it. And uh, it is silk. And I was like, I've never heard of this before. So I looked it up and a lot of her dresses, they were definitely selling close to like $70, $80. So yeah, I don't know much about this brand, uh, but... It has a really pretty pattern on the dress. And I would say this is probably, it's like a, either a midi or a long length. I'll definitely have to provide measurements. But yeah, just a simple dress for summer. And I'm excited to try out a new brand that hopefully will bring me a lot of money. <laughs> I do like to pick up the brand Joie, especially when I can get it cheap. So it was half off. It was just $2.50. And this is just a red cashmere sweater and again I'm trying to pick up things for fall so I'm hoping this will go for at least $40 and it's in great condition okay if my hair looks crazy I just had to run through my neighborhood and catch my dogs because we accidentally left the gate open so let's just resume like nothing happened <laughs> okay so I never find this brand this is aloe yoga do y'all pick this up this was a really cute just like active wear top with the cutouts right here. And this will sell probably $30, $35. But yeah, I've never found it before in my area, so I decided to pick it up and give it a try. I thought this skirt was so cute. It's just a blue skirt. And then on the side, it says Adidas. Super, super cute with the spell out. And it's like a pencil. Probably hits around the knee or right above the knee. And I'm not sure how much I'm gonna list this for, at least $30. And this may sell on Depop. This would be a great item to list on there. So I'm excited to get this listed. This has been a brand that I've been wanting to find for a while. It's Tula Rosa. And this is just a, it kind of looks like free people to me. Um, but anyway, this is just an embroidered green long sleeve sheer top. And I believe I have this listed for about $40 or $45. And yeah, this is a great brand to pick up. Here's the other St. John piece I found, um, size small. And this is just like a black three quarter sleeve. It kind of has like these sequins, not sequins, but kind of like a metallic white thing on it. Anyway, it's a really cute top, super simple. I've never found this brand before, but I've heard things about it. It's 11 Paris and I actually picked it up because of how it looked. It was just pretty different, you know? And then it said Hoya. Well, long story short, this is a Jay-Z collab. And yeah, I listed it, I think for, I wanna say I listed this one for $50. And there wasn't really any of, I think there was just one more available in a different size online. So I'm hoping that because I'm the only one that has this, maybe someone will want it. I did pick up another Joa top. This is just a black, short sleeve silk top really simple but it just sold for around thirty dollars and it's a quick fl uh, flip for me so i bought it i did pick up a couple bathing suits uh, this one is just a ralph lauren and it is a pretty paisley one-piece bathing suit i also got this rash guard and i thought this was kind of fun this is an adult size small but it has like these little clouds on it um, and this is actually J. Crew, but yeah, I thought that was cute. I love the color. I'm really excited to try this brand out because some of the pieces sell for around 50 bucks, 
It's Gotex, and it's just like a one piece. I hate how they staple. They staple the straps together on this one. But it's just like a simple blue one piece swim top, and it does have the really low back. So I'm going to list it for 50 uh, and just see how it does. But yeah, this is a great brand to pick up. Some lingerie by this brand does really well. It's Hanro. Uh, this is just like a built in bra tank. But I got it in black, and then they also had the beige one. So I decided to go ahead and get these. Uh, they were just $2 a piece, and I'm going to try to list them for $35, $40 $40 and see how they do. I did find a couple Vineyard Vines men's shorts. These are in blue. Super cute. I do like to find the color ones better than like the like beige or kind of like a more boring color. This is just $2.50. And then I also did get a white pair. And these have a really short end seam. So I think these will do really well. At least $35, $40 bucks each. I found a pair of brand new Carmar pants last time. And I found some shorts this time. These are just like high-waisted uh, black shorts. There's the Carmar. And these were just $2.50. So I thought that was a great price, and I'm not sure how much the shorts will go for, but at least 30 bucks, I think. Really cute. Okay, let me show you some of the men's jeans. So you guys know I love to pick up men's moto. I usually always can sell it for 50 bucks, and these are guests. So these are in, I would say, almost like new condition. They're in really great condition. So I'll be listing those for at least $50. I also got these. These are a pair of Rush denim. And honestly, <laughs> the wilder the better. I'm probably going to list these, I mean, at least $50, maybe a little more, maybe $60 or $70. But yeah, I could not leave these behind. Definitely not. And the last pair is a brand I've never heard of before, Forward Denim. Uh, but again... They have the Moto Distressing, and those just always sell for me. So definitely couldn't leave those behind. Here's a Bolo Hard Good. It's this. I'll show you this part. This is the Hot Sticks. I actually owned these when I was younger. I remember I owned this exact set. And these are actually brand new. Everything still has the cover over it, the bubble wrap, the seal. Um, everything's wrapped up. And it works, and these are going for $70. This was $4.99. I already uh, posted it, so the stickers are off of it. But yeah, if you see these at the thrift store, don't pass them up. Some hot rollers are worth a lot of money, and some aren't. Always worth it to look it up. Okay, next couple things I'm going to show you I just got for a dollar. Uh, this is a Nets, Mitchell and Ness. Just a simple, like, three-quarter length sleeve t-shirt, maybe a 20 here. And then this is just a little Cubs, there's the $1. A little Cubs hoodie. I think that'll sell really well. And then some of y'all like to see what I got myself. This is a brand I've really been liking to buy second hand. It's Princess Polly. And this is just like a cute tan shirt, really, really cute. And then I actually wore this in my last video I just uploaded. It's just a nasty gal shirt, but I thought it was super adorable. Well, I have to say this has been a super interesting haul for me to upload because I was not expecting to do half a marathon during this video. But thank you to everyone who stuck around to the very end to see my messy hair and all. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this thrift haul. I'm definitely going to be uploading more thrift hauls in the future. Subscribe if you want to see more from me, and I'll see y'all in just a few days for another video. Bye, y'all.